Assalamu alaikum and very good uh, day to all of you. Okay, we continue uh, our lessons. We have learned about article, we have learned about pronoun, we have learned about nouns, and now we move to another important uh, part of speech. All right, and it will be covered in your test one, which is verbs. All right, in this uh, slide, we will learn about first what is action verb, second is helping verb, and last linking verb. Right, what is verb? Okay, there are two functions of verb and we can define a verb as a first to explain the action and second to explain the occurrence or to connect between two ideas. Every sentence in this world requires a verb. You cannot uh, make a sentence without a verb. Okay, imagine if you have I as a subject and you as object. All right, how do you connect the idea of I and you. Of course, you need verbs. For example, I love you, or maybe I am eating with you, or I uh, hate you, for example. So, with verb, we can understand what you are trying to say in sentence or in spoken language. Okay, the first uh, verb that we uh, learn today is action verb. All right. Uh, action verb you can simply understand as uh, something that can tell us what people or thing can do. All right, uh, is action and you can tangibly uh, see the action. For example, play, write, jump, scream, dance, pick, uh, and so on. Right. So action verb there are there are too many action verb. All right. Uh, usually in the dictionary they will put v. T or I mean uh, in in uh, intransitive or transitive verb, basically referring to action verb. All right. If even though we have uh, action verb is quite uh, uh, easy, all right. But then uh, to use it uh, is not that uh, is not that easy because of we have to follow the rules. All right. Imagine if you have two sentences. All right. How do you uh, choose whether Number one, Ali read or reads the book every day. Second sentence, they read or reads the book every day. Okay, the answer is the first one is Ali reads. So you must add S for the verb. But for the second sentence, they read, you choose the root verb without any S. Why? Because of you have to follow subject verb agreement, which is the rule of using subject and verb where subject need to agree with the verb and we are going to learn subject agreement in detail on the next uh, syllabus all right inshallah but not for this uh, slide because of we just uh, touch a little bit of uh, in the very surface about the verb okay for subject agreement we are going to discuss it in detail uh, after this inshallah A type of verb is also important even though it don't describe an action but it links the idea or it connects the ideas all right uh, between subject and predicate or subject and object all right so these are uh, some uh, linking verb we have am we have is we have was we have were and uh, sometimes we have sim all right uh, it's not that many like action verb but uh, linking verb has the power to connect between subject and predicate. The linking verb we have is, are, uh, was, were, uh, and uh, and so on. Okay, how they are different. All right, we look at this table. We have am, we have is, we have was, we have are, and were. Firstly, all right, is and was uh, are used only. Sorry. Is are used in the present tense and was uh, is used in the past tense. Uh, are for present tense and were for past tense. Okay, we will uh, we will uh, learn about tenses uh, detail after this. Okay, not for this slide. All right, and M for uh, present tense. Okay, M is used exclusively for I. I am Malaysian. All right, I am. Uh, I am uh, thinking about you. Okay, for example, and then uh, we have is and was only used for singular.
subject or singular pronoun. We have he, she, it. Okay, he is handsome. She is beautiful. It is cute. Okay, when you're referring to animal or, or something, all right, uh, which is not human, so you can use it. All right, but then if the situation in the past, you can use was. He was a fat boy, for example. She was uh, ugly when she was uh, seven years old, okay, for example. And then it was uh, cute. Okay, you may be referring to kitten, but then when he... Uh, uh, or a big cat, maybe it's not that cute, so you can uh, use was. Okay, and then we have are. Okay, they are, so they are plural. Okay, they is a plural subject, sorry. And we also uh, a plural subject. And are uh, used for uh, a present tense, happen now. Uh, and were uh, was, is a plural for a past tense. For example, they were what? we were we were happy uh, last night for example okay so you can use word and then what about sim All right sim can be used with any subject uh, but you of course you need to follow subject but agreement rules so sim can uh, be uh, can be used with i he she it they and we but then uh, remember you have to follow the subject but agreement rule that we are going to learn after uh, this Okay, not for this slide. Uh, the last category of verb, which is helping verb. Okay, it's very easy because we have only has, have, and had. All right, have usually for plural subject. For example, they have kind. And then uh, has is only for uh, singular. All right. Uh, I is exclusively uh, you can use with have so I have three kitten for example and uh, we also have a past tense for linking verb which is had right I had okay or they had uh, which is can be used with a singular or plural but then uh, you must have to make sure that you use it in the past tense all right why helping verb because usually we use uh, this verb have has and had with another verb which is like for example have kind has jumped has made and have cook all right it must uh, be used with action verb and that's why it help it help because have has and had uh, usually tells about the action is already happened all right uh, and uh, you don't uh, specifically mention the time but then it's already happened so you you need to use helping verb uh, some uh, exercises uh, to do uh, first uh, I have uh, identified the uh, verb used in the sentence and I want you to categorize whether the verb is uh, linking or helping or action okay number one the dog has been to the vet or veterina okay so this is helping verb okay has the word has here and number two she is a champion Okay, so this is actually linking verb. Number three, my uncle was a black belt. Okay, or has black belt. So this is actually, was is actually linking verb, linking verb in the past tense. All right, the boy ran faster than anyone else. This is also past tense, but this, this one is action, action verb. All right, we have played soccer for three years. Okay, this is actually helping verb. And last, the race car driver drove slowly. Again, this is also past tense and referring to action verb. Okay, so basically, this is actually how do you categorize uh, the verb. It's not important whether you, you ha have to know whether it's uh, linking or helping or action, but then you need to know on how to use it in sentences and when uh, you should use when you should use this uh, verb okay uh, there are a few conclusions that I can make from this uh, video first is verb functions all right to connect ideas and to show action okay uh, is very simple definition or meaning that you can understand uh, from uh, from my from my uh, description or, or from my explanation all right 
Uh, there are three categories of verb. We have action verb, we have linking, and we have helping verb. All right. Basically, uh, verb are closely related with other grammar aspect, uh, especially tenses, because from the from the verb we will learn about past tense, uh, present tense, future tense, uh, present continuous tense, and so on. And also, uh, the rules name subject by agreement. That means subject must agree with the verb. Alright, and then I think I have explained in the previous slide on how we use subject agreement in very general description. Okay guys, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.